Christine as well. Hey! Paula, 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 Paula. Hello. Welcome. Hi, I'm Hi. here. Just listen a little bit. No, we're twinning out. We are twinning out. Like, you, you look so bright. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? I'm fine, thanks. You know, you know, um, I must use this opportunity to big up everyone who have been sharing our page, uh, commenting, liking, and bringing back the association to life. So, I want to big up on yourself. And remember, you just might see me send you a little message and say, yo, we need to check in with you. Walk one. Okay, guys, <laughs> so this evening... We have a very special guest. Yes, we are a twin out already. We have yep. a very special <laughs> guest. So, Paula, I'm going to give you the opportunity to just tell us your name, the year you're representing. So, cut through, no man. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Paula Roper. Well, when I was attending Fern Court, I was Paula Roper. I'm Paula Roper Bacchus. Hey, um, married on all these things, Paula. Yeah, over 12 years now. So <laughs> so um, I graduated in 1998. All right, so representing class of 98. That's how many 98. years? 98. Yes, how many? That's how many years? Help us with the maths. 22. 20. <laughs> hey. you. 22 you, you, years ago. Wow. <laughs> You know, you sent us some pictures, and you know the picture that yo that took me right out was the wow. library, the library picture, cause the library no, and then you know, did I go on with that whole bag of things, Paula? A lot of wow. Were, no, I said the picture that took me out was the one with the library. Like, okay. The, the library pick really took me out, and the one what what were you um asked to represent the school for? Represented the school for. That um, the one that was in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one was in nineteen ninety five. So that was like twenty five years ago. It was a um clean, a cleaning initiative. Mm -hmm. Um, no litter campaign. Long, long time ago. <laughs> no, but no, Paula. But I am looking at ninety-five. But I don't want to give me age for the life, you know. But ah, uh, yeah, young, 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 young baby, them time there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's just cut the chase to go into the question. So first question for you, Paula. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite high school memory? What's my favorite high school memory? Yes, your favorite. Okay, um, favorite high school memory. You like it? I'm a busy high school person. Um, mm -hmm. I was always at Jeans Day, Sports Day, um, um Fear, Fet, everything. I was, I was in the mix. So, um. I think, um, hmm, it's hard. It's it's really, really hard. But that jeans day when the picture when we were in the library, mm -hmm. um, I was in that um, jumper suit for jeans day. I think that one, um, that day was one of my favorite days because I, I, one of the girls lying, um, sitting down on the chair, I think she's to the right. Shelly Ann Johnson, she was one of my best friends in high school. Big and up to Shelly Ann, big up. She, probably she watches the live, big up. It's sad. It's sad because she passed. She passed. She's not with us anymore. Oh, man. So, um, spending any time I spent with her was really, really good. Um, Shelly Ann Johnson, my love will always be with her. Um, she oh, passed in 2014. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so, uh, all right, so a little, um, backdrop about me is that, um, there was four cousins of us that went to Fern Court, um, around the same time. So I was, um, my cousin Sadiq, he went to school with the president, um, he was in the same class with the present, um, alumni president, Camilla Trench. 
So oh, Sadiq Monroe, <laughs> yeah. So Sadiq Monroe, he was my cousin, and we went to school together. And then there's Fabian Paris and Alshay in Paris. So and myself. So all of us live with my grandparents. So okay. there was four of us coming to Fern Court, and we had this little bus that took us to school every oh. morning and picked us up every evening. <laughs> wow. Um, this gentleman by the name of Stella, he used to carry us to school. So because it was like a family of us going to school. I think Stella is huh? running in on Stella. I think he's yeah, running. So, um, yeah, yeah. So all uh, he picked us up and took us to school along with, I want to say, another 15 students. Mm -hmm. So it was a pop bus. So every day was an excitement. Every day was fun. Oh. Every you day know, was excitement. You, you made mention of Shelly. You made mention of Shelly. And I know um, we have lost quite a few, but a lot of past students. And I just want to use this opportunity. Uh, you know, guys, you never know. So if you, as much as possible, you can keep in contact with your high school mates, keep mm -hmm. in contact. You will never know. I remember my heart was so broken because in my year group, I think we lost around, I think we lost around six, you know. Oh, I was just going to tell you that my cousin, my cousin Sadiq, he also passed. Oh, man. So, yeah, so, um... There is a few persons I know in my years at Fern Court that have passed. Wow. And some were family. Well, my, my cousin Sadiq and then my friend Shellyan. Mm -hmm. So I always want to remember them and keep their memories. So um, there was, there was, high school was just so much fun. There was so much activity. Um, best time of my life. Uh, well, not the best, best, but it was a really good time. I, I understand. Who was a okay, Miss so, Johnson. So when I started in 1993, Miss Mullins, Mrs. Mullins was the president, was the principal then. And then um, I think in 1994, Miss mm -hmm. Johnson came in and she was there until I left. I'm not sure who came after her. Okay, so Miss Johnson. Okay, okay. Yeah, she was there. I think um about three to four years of my five year journey there, she was there. Okay. Um, did you have any favorite high school teacher at the time? High school teacher? Yeah, favorites. This Ooh. one up until now. I was such a um. I, I wasn't a I wasn't a teacher's pet or anything like that, but I got along with a lot of the teachers. Mm -hmm. So um Mr. Henry, my music teacher, he actually called me, I want to say like two months ago. I have a YouTube channel. Mr. Henry saw me on YouTube, my music teacher, and called me and he was like, Are you Paula Roper who used to attend Fern Court? And I said, Yes, Mr. Henry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, so you yeah, but Mr. Say. Allen, Mr. Allen, um, we used to call him Coach. He was my grade nine form teacher. Mm -hmm. He he was actually one of two. And then um, what's the art teacher's name? She was a Rastafarian. Um, yeah, yeah. Ask she, me, Paula, Paula. Yeah, I remember me never me could never burn him tell him then. You know? <laughs> She was, yeah. um, well, she was one of my favorite too. So it's been 22 years. I don't remember all the names, but mm -hmm. Mr. Allen, Mr. Henry, um, they were like, and the art teacher, I don't remember her name, but she was a Rastafarian. Anybody who remembers her name can tell us in the comments. Her daughter was actually in one of my classes. Um, Tifa, I think her daughter's name was Tifa, T-I-F-A, something like that. Mm -hmm. She was class and then um yeah so those three really rise to the top when i think about um about, like the teacher favorite teacher yeah okay and uh, so what were you engaging in a, um in any extracurricular activities key club <laughs> key club <laughs> yeah. i was a prefect also in when i was in grade 10 i was a prefect um, my class was seven five. So when I was in ten arts, um, my form class was seven five, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I used to participate in key club, and 
um, what's her name? Gail Davis. Mm -hmm. Gail Davis. I don't know if you were born that time, but she came third runner up in Miss Jamaica hey, somebody World. Saying, somebody said in the chat, Jabron. Was the teacher Jabron? Yes, so that was her name. That was her name. <laughs> um, let me yes, that was her name. Yeah, sports bar. K S. Yes. K -S so another mispronounce it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but another Jabron passed away. You know that, right? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A long time ago. I think it's um a couple of years ago. She passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm sad to hear and condolences to her daughter because her daughter was in my class. Oh, I think That's... I think I know her, you know, a slim girl. Slim. Yeah, she was very slim. Mm -hmm. Oh, um Shadine Cameron is saying that um Miss Brown passed away about three years ago. Oh, wow. But it's saying that uh, Latricia Hall saying that Miss Brown was the best. So I can see why she was. Like, she was so was nice. One of my favorite teachers. My favorite thing to do was pottery class when we would go in and make the the cups and saucers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that was that was the thing that I loved. Mm -hmm. And then I also wanted to mention Miss Gordon. We used to call her Long Life. She passed. Hey, really yeah, she passed recently. Condolences to her too, mm -hmm. but um, she taught me geography for. I guess like two, three years. I know she yeah. taught me in grade 10 and grade 11. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember if she taught me in grade 9, but I don't think so. I think she only taught me in grade 10 and grade 11. What did and you call her? I, she, 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 a long time, Deborah, the arm, long life, did man? Long, long time, because I came to Fern Court and know her. She was a great coordinator for grade 8, I think. Yeah, man. I, yeah. A long time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah man, yeah man. So um, I, I see. I, 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 yeah, but the question we really want to ask before all of these questions: Were you placed at Franklin High School, or um, you transferred? That's a funny story. So um, I actually migrated when I was very young, and I came back the first year of high school. And I was, I applied, I don't know, my grandparents, but they applied and I was put into Fern Court. Mm -hmm. So question, have you ever, Paula, been called to the principal's office? And what? Yes. Was? Tell us. Yes. <laughs> As I told you, I was a handful growing up. Mm -hmm. So um, there was this, I, I am the... For majority of my years, I was I was the only girl of about 10 grandchildren, all of them boys except for me. So one morning I came, I was in 7-1. I, I came out blazing in high school. I was in 7-1 and this guy, his name was Marshall Brown. Mm -hmm. And he came and I was sitting down at my regular seat and he came up and he told me to get, get up from the seat. Mm -hmm. So, um, bad, bad girl, Paula, the only girl of all these boy children, I was like, get up from where? So I was, I was very, very, um, you know, I, I was feisty. So, <laughs> like so when Michelle Brown told, chop me and tell me to get up from the seat. No, so I, I was very short. I'm still short, but Michelle Brown was short too. Mm -hmm. I hope he's not on this, <laughs> but anybody <laughs> knows him. Anybody knows him can tell him that I relayed the story. So Michelle Brown, he told me to get up and chuck me. So I got up and I said, I'm big, bad Paul, and I'm not going to take it today. So I got up and we started to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, it wasn't even eight o'clock in the morning. We were fisticuffs we were fighting and i actually pushed michelle brown and he hit his head against um this thing on the wall i don't remember what it's called Serious fight at our boat. Serious and he him bussing head yes so there was blood everywhere 
<laughs> and you know i made my way to the principal's office for oh, fighting no, you, know, call you. you made your way your way you just <laughs> you know, you're, you're in a trouble yes i, like, I, I was in trouble I, like I was in trouble so i don't i think this was like maybe between the september to the december mm -hmm. and i got myself a three-day suspension <laughs> Look, you say, hey, if I had two days, we're well, probably get five days. And look, you say, I get three days, but you know, <laughs> go you, go so you. The first, the first term of of seventh grade, I got myself. I was in the principal office, and I got myself a suspension. <laughs> that was the only one I got. That was the <laughs> only one I got. There. No, but you must learn a lesson. So you couldn't get no more. You must learn a lesson there. <laughs> Come on. All right. So did you have any high school nickname? I bet them nickname. Did I have any high school what? Nickname. Oh. Yes, I did. I, I did. I had a lot of high school nicknames. As I told you, I was very um I don't know. I, I don't want to say popular, but everybody knew me. I so um, <laughs> so all right, so um it's not a bad thing. I was, as I told you, I get into fights. Mm -hmm. It was, high school was a very, um, no, I, I love it. I can't hear the nickname. Me are weird. Me, I had me many nicknames. All, kind of all right. So, okay. About 10th grade or 9th grade, this guy, I don't remember his name. I think his name was Rodney. If Rodney's on the call, big up yourself. The last, he follows me on social media, so I don't even know. So um, Rodney, he wanted to talk to me. I don't know. He might have a different story, but if he's on the call, tell him to, to put his story in the call. But Rodney approached me, and I told him I was not interested. So um, Rodney started to call me Buck Buck because my forehead, my forehead was very big. So, well, is it, I, I own it now. I own it now, so I don't. All right, Buck Buck. <laughs> I don't, so it was it, it actually stemmed from him mm -hmm. approaching me to be his i don't know to date or to be his girlfriend or whatever and i rejected out of that rejection how, how dare you how dare you rejected <laughs> him how dare you all right that was, you know but, but. all right so paula i know that you have your business going on so you know you, i'm going to give you the opportunity to, to tell us to tell us why may i type my tongue to tell us um what is your business and everything and see if we you know we can support it okay all right so um i'm a real estate agent um branching out next I've been a real estate agent for almost seven years now, but I'm branching out um, next month and opening my own company. So anyone who wants to support, mm -hmm. I have a YouTube channel. That's where a lot of like anything real estate based, you can, you can always reach me on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's something, just a question, you can slide into my DMs. But... <laughs> you know... But, okay. Okay. And this is one of the reasons, you know, Paula, why we, we're putting on, sorry, we, we put on this thing, the check-in, because I know that a lot of past students have some business, let me say, creative business, Paula, and, you know, just by this way, you will never know, you book up some of your classmates and those, because guess what, we support, we support you guys, and we like the fact that, yo, we're not going to turn the other way of getting a dirty money. We are coming with a little small business and, you know, support for support. So even just by sharing, guys, just by sharing the page, you yeah, hit us up. Um, Frank, FHSAA, you know, me have a little business. Me could just, you know, help me promote the business and all these things. That's what we're here for, to help to build one another. So never yeah. be afraid to just shoot me in my DM. In our DM, you know my DM, in our DM, and let us know <laughs> your business so we can support it. Continue, Paula. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to mention that I, I have had a lot of clients from Ferncourt, and wow. the love has always been there. And mm -hmm. surprisingly, some of these people I didn't even go to school with. They were from the 70s and the 80s and early 90s. Mm -hmm. I just sold a house in Claremont from the parents of a former foreign court student. Mm -hmm. And 
she found me on LinkedIn because I'm always on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a different crowd around there, you know, business-minded people. And a lot of the people who follow me are Fern Court alumni. Um, you guys need to set up a page on LinkedIn because mm -hmm. there's a lot of Fern Court alumni who mm -hmm. have businesses. And mm -hmm. um, when I was at Career Day, I, I participated in your Career Day um i think it was last year um i came there and i talked to the young and upcoming students about real estate mm -hmm. and i always tell people don't go into real estate for the money. money go for the love go for the love like if you love people and you love to put people in homes and um like the other day like i'm telling you no joke i've been in real estate seven years now or almost seven years and it brought me to tears. I woke up one morning and this guy called me and he was like, Paula, you helped me to make my dream of home ownership come wow. true. Love you. And a lot of the opportunities I get, um, like features on Wealth Magazine, Home Sweet Home and Smile Jamaica on radio stations and stuff forth. All of those came from me helping people to put them into homes or to help them to sell homes if that's what they want to do and um, make their real estate dreams come true. So um, I always say do real estate not for the money, but for the love, because if you love what you do, the money will come. Look the here, money will Paula, come. I want to our house, you know, say, don't know, say, the link's set already, so... I will talk off air because I need to own my Definitely. Own <laughs> okay. So guys, remember Definitely. the hits of Paula. So Paula, what advice would you give um, um, current students of Frankfurt High School? What advice would you give them? Um, all right. This is my advice. It might be different for other persons, but I don't know if you got the gist of it. I didn't take my high school time too seriously. I, I I was I was I was there for the fun. Mm -hmm. I was there to make memories. I was there to make friends. Which is good. Yeah, as you saw, I was spreading across my friends. I, I have so many pictures of me just hugging people, laughing. It was it was a fun time for me because unfortunately, like when I was doing my mock exams in um eleventh grade, my mom passed away. My mom oh. died. And um, a lot of my friends stepped in because I didn't finish my SBAs and they stepped in and they helped me with my SBAs and so forth. Um, this girl by the name of Natanya Williams, I want to big her up if she follows your page. She, she helped mm -hmm. me with geo, um, geography, SBA and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So towards the last part of it, like even at my mom's funeral, um, like I had a whole little section of my friend court friends. The um, the head girl came out, Keisha Grant of my year, and I just felt the love. So um, I had a lot of stuff going on with my mom's illness yeah. um, during during the latter part at high school. But um, I my overall thing was not to focus too much on the straight work of it. Um, but when I got to university, I went to work. There was no joking. There was no, um, so I have my BA in, um, history and a minor in political science and I have my MA in heritage studies and I don't do none of that. I used to lecture at Money College, Port Mary campus for a few years, but, um, after that, I went, I went into real estate and I really found the love that I have for, um, you know, real estate and stuff. But I would say if you're in high school, focus on your education. Yes. Don't bother with the boys, girl. They will come in the future. You I don't have them a lot of, yeah. Kiss them and just say, oh, that kiss was a good bye. I'm on to the next kiss. Anyway, <laughs> when I say kiss, I mean a kiss, nothing more, nothing more than a kiss, Sorry. right? <laughs> I was a good girl in high school. I had a lot of, um, like people I talked to, like, you know, like, hi, bye, nothing serious, right? I wait until I was well into my 20s, but um, enjoy high school and then get your education and move on get your career and mm -hmm. and do everything you know do everything and somebody saying island 
Um, Ireland. Is that Renee? Hi, Renee. Is that Renee? Renee, Universe. hi, Renee. Big up, big up, big up. To say yes, I want to see you at Universe. Always doing her studies. So at least... At yeah, I took... I took university serious, like high school. I was there for the fun um, because, you know, my mom was sick. I wasn't trying to stress out myself. Hi, Renee. I wasn't trying to stress out myself and, and all of that because I had my mom. My mom was terminally ill. So I wasn't, I wasn't really trying to stress myself too, too much with the work. But maybe I should have stressed myself a little bit more. But I knew I would make up for it in college. And I got, um, I graduated um, NCU with honors. I also have a honors in my master's. Right, and stuff Hello, like look that. here. Listen to me. Foreign court past students, you see? May I tell you, say, a whole heap of achievements we get in the parlor. Like, look at the Minister, uh, Minister of Education, Honorable Farrell, um, Favor Favor Williams. Williams, yes. Look here, we have to big up all these things, and that's why we continue to do. All is check in to let you guys know that look here, Frankfurt still a happen. Frankfurt is one of the biggest high school in Jamaica, and wherever you go, feel proud. Listen, when I was at you taking on, and you hear the man in school, nothing not wrong with them school, you know, the queen school. I mean, if you put on my the part, I am from the Frankfurt High School because me know say. Frankfurt, the pan top of things. So wherever you go in the world, and I see Brittany commenting, wherever you go in the world, make them know say a Frankfurt you come from. Good, good product from Frankfurt High School. And Paula, you you're one of the many that come <laughs> out of exactly. Frankfurt. And you know, I thank you again for this interview, Paula. Thank you for showing other past students and yes we're still there we're a little bit but we tolerate Tala. 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 <laughs> Tala. so you know um i just want to use this opportunity paula our shirts guys you can get your shirts um you just hit us up in the dm for sure so paula come well swim out yes and i see a number of persons asking about rings foreign court rings and all these things I am going to put it forward to the executive body and get back to you guys on that. So we have a lot of things coming our way. And thank you so much again for supporting this little check-in. And you will never know, guys. I just might ask you to just come in and check in with us. I see Mr. Sterling just logging on. Sir, big up yourself. Welcome. And so, Paula, you did tell us about your business. So the last question now, what makes you Fern Court proud? Oh, everything, everything. Every time I hear Fern Court, um, thankfully, I always hear good things on the news. I always see past students. Everything makes me proud. I was proud when I was attending Fern Court. I thought out of all the schools in, in St. Anne, we were the best. I, I no, was no, no, no. we are the best. We, the we best. are the best. We yes. are the best. Yes. No matter what anybody says, we are the best. Like um, one of the nicknames I well, I they always used to say um that Fern Court was a Ketchaman College. Ketchaman College. Oh, oh, Ketch that when I was there. Little when little I was little. there, they said it was a Ketchaman College, and I was like, "Yeah," because all of the cute boys went to Fern Court. <laughs> when I was <laughs> when I was going to high school, mm -hmm. all of the cute boys went to Fern Court. When I went to Ochiris High School for whatever they were having their fet or sports or whatever, no cute guys were there. When I went to Mine Marcus, no Mine cute Ochi guys were there. <laughs> My name is Ochi, I massive attack us, but we still have the hands up. Fern Court had all the cute guys. All the cute guys. And I hope that the guys will say it had all the cute girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Paula, it was really fun having you, you here um, with us. It is really fun. And, you know, thank you again for the time out. As I said, when I um, when I contacted you, you didn't hesitate. You were like, yes! And I said, Thursday, already Thursday. And you said, yes! So, guys, look out, please. You never know. You could have just graduated yesterday. We, we just want to know what's happening and keep the page alive. Support the alumni. 
it's just a one thousand dollars for registration to become an alumni just one thousand dollars so support the thing support us buy our shirts because everything you buy from us every every contribution every donation goes right back to fern court high school even now we're going to put up some pictures of our back to school initiative that your do donation um contributed to to have students now who didn't have no bag no book no socks nothing your contribution goes towards us so all the way so big up all fern court high school massive and again i'm going to leave this with you wherever you go in life it could have been where europe asia australia Wear your Frankfurt pride. Tell them that there is a school in Jamaica, you know, Frankfurt High School, and that's where we come from. So again, until Before next you time. Off, I have something to say. Okay, um, I, wanted, I wanted to do a donation to the back to school program on behalf of um, not myself. Um, I don't do donations on myself. I want to do it in the name of Sadiq. Um, Monroe and Shelly and Johnson. Um, I want to do a donation to Fern Court High School, the back to school program for the children. Um, and I'm trying to think how much money I want to donate, but I don't want to put my basket where I can't reach it. But I'm going to go ahead and do ten thousand dollars, and I want to send it to. Well, I get, I have your account number already. The same account I, number, I right? Number. And guys, if it is that you want to donate, just send us uh, a DM and I will send you the alumni account number. And you know, thank you, Paula, for that. That's look here, listen, you see what this um this little check-in does? It it's building our school, building Frank Court. You know, um at time I felt sad, Paula, because um when you hear people were got your castle, I'm a proud Yorkist. And you're like me proud too. You know, want people to know that hey, I'm a pro Frank Court graduate. So, you know, thank you, Paula. Thank you so much. We can't stop. Thank you. Thank the you. money will be in the account tomorrow. So, you guys, I, I want to donate it for Shelly Ann Johnson and Sadiq Monroe in their names, not my name. Oh, that um, those are your brother and sister that passed. My oh, cousin, cousin and my best friend. And your bro okay, okay. We who were, who yeah. were alumni from Frankfurt as well. Okay, thank you so much. And um, for those who are just joining the live, would you just tell them your YouTube um channel? Oh, everywhere that you can find, well, every social media handle is Paula Sells Jamaica. So YouTube, Facebook, IG. Um, LinkedIn under my name Paula Roper Backers, mm -hmm. but every other handle is Paula Sells Jamaica. Okay, and tell them about your business. Um, tell them about really? your business. So I I help persons to buy, sell, rent, residential, and commercial real estate island wide in Jamaica. Okay, so and they can find you on Instagram. Your name again on Instagram. Just one more Paula time. Paula Sells Jamaica. <laughs> And I will be tagging it below. So, Paula, thanks again for an amazing interview. It was fun talking to you. And I hope you check in again with us. If I give us some little update while we'll going with Paula. Yes. And thank Definitely. you for representing class of 98. So, thank you. Enough love. Bye. Bye, everybody.